NBA young boy. He kind of pressed Rich the Kid on his little radio show, you know. I think the radio show dope. I get, you know, he get to show people more of his temperament. I'm not going to lie. One thing about NBA Youngboy was he was majestic, you know. He had this mystique. You didn't really know a lot about him. He's been on the Internet lately, you know. We starting to understand his temperament. We starting to get that he's a jokester. He be trolling, and he can't get serious. So we learning more about him than we did in his whole rap career about being on this social media it kind of exposed you to people getting to understand who you are as a person and shit like that but uh you know he did some good things with the show i think it's dope he played billionaire black uh hibachi which i think is dope to let you know nba young boy is paying attention to the culture even though you know he got a relationship with chief keith you know but i think he's trying to irritate them guys by doing that in my opinion but that hibachi record is a, is a hit you know what i'm saying even though it got dissing in it it's a hard record but you know he pressed rich the kid asked him about that picture he took with little dirt you know, you can tell Rich the Kid didn't know that question was coming. He kind of ambushed him with that question on air. I'm going to tell you, though, watching that, you know, it didn't really seem like the right way. Even though he said they homies, they friends, that's his little brother. You don't really put your big brother on blast like that, you know. That felt like a G-check that was low-key. It felt like a drag a dry G check, you feel me? A G check that you probably couldn't really see that good, but if you can see that good, then you seen it. And I think that's what it was to put Rich the Kid in that position where it was uncomfortable. I didn't really get that, you know? Uh, but I think it's for the internet. You gotta understand it's the internet. It's for shock value. You can stay honest and real all you want to. That's not gonna produce a big check or you're not gonna be able to monetize real good off this shit. People wanna be entertained on this internet. You know, young boy, you know, pressing Rich the Kid kind of felt like he was recruiting people that hate on Lil Durk. You know, you're going to hate somebody, hate them yourself. Don't be out here recruiting people, you know. And I guess, you know, it is what it is. But that picking sides shit is real. Remember, Meek Mill said a little while ago that everybody going to have to start picking sides. See Bobby Smurdy getting into it, picking sides. Uh, now you see NBA Youngboy want to know what's up with Rich the Kid. Kind of feel like he was recruiting Rich the Kid to be on some hater shit with Lil Durk. But it seemed like Rich the Kid want to play both sides and just be out of that shit. Stop the violence. You know, this shit put a lot of artists in bad positions. Especially Dirk. I'm going to tell you something about Dirk. A lot of people be talking about Quando Rondo and talking about NBA Youngboy. I think Lil Dirk needs to be careful too. He needs to watch around too for that back door. You clearly can see NBA Youngboy has a relationship with people in Atlanta. Dirk being in Atlanta. So, you know, I just think these guys got to be careful. Dirk then went silent. He on the internet now, but he not really talking about that no more. He got old songs that's kind of talking about it. But, you know, he didn't kind of went silent. This NBA shit, the fans already was looking at him. And we already know about Dirk history and background. These guys need to be careful on this internet shit. Because trust me, the whole world is watching, including the FBI.